suited and booted. Let's go, hoes. Now this heavily edited, truncated version video footage, whatever, is from my rookie days. I am much better than this in the present time. Then this time where I was hitting my damn shield more than I was hitting the actual Jabalis I'm trying to kill. But, nevertheless, I've waited so long to get this video up. I look back and see how terrible I was. But we still smashing heads like juice when the opportunity presents itself. Now uh, you'll see how challenging it is to take out these armored jabronis, but I have a strategy, which I did not necessarily have solidified at the time of this recording. But now, uh, much better, much more efficient, can dispose of these suckers in much more timely fashion. Get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. See the trick, if possible, to get these fools down. Debilitate them by breaking that shield. Then you break that helmet. And you expose that flesh. And then. You can smush the head the juice. But another strategy I found is to go after them legs. Because apparently these fools, if you chop off their leg, that's almost equivalent, or well, pretty much is, to chopping off their head. So sometimes they will still crawl. So I guess it depends on how damaged they are overall. Uh, Oh, I love that song. I love that feeling. It's so disturbingly satisfying. I also have some better weapons now than I got right here. I'm just loaded with the traditional mace, the flanger, however you say that shit. And I think the long sword. And the standard jabroni axe. This archer, he's a pain in the bitch as far as the low level jabroni goes. Cause he got some uh some pretty uh efficient range with that fucking bow and arrow. And he seemed to be a little more savvy with that sword too, but I try to run up on him before he can even get that sword cracking. <laughs> or But one of these armor jabronis, he ain't got armor on the head, but that armor that chest could be a little bit of a hassle to deal with. It shouldn't have been as much as as much of a fucking hassle as it turned out to be during this recording, but uh, we all gotta start somewhere, goddammit. You can see these fools are not very coordinated. They make it easy for you to kill like ass eventually. Ugh. 
trying to get out of This fool should have been easy to kill. Who knows what I was going through down there? It's probably high as fuck. That's almost a fucking guarantee. Probably in this bitch sweating. Not putting in a hundred percent effort on these niggas, and they got me out here looking like a fool. One thing I don't think I have done yet in this game is a straight up, a good healthy decapitation. From standing up, just running up on a motherfucker and sending his head fucking flying from one good swing. I don't think I've done that yet. I have fucking bashed some brains like a motherfucking grape. You know, one shot it. A motherfucker's head into juice and shit with the hammer. But I don't think I've done that with the sword. Though I have chopped the motherfucker in half with the, with the bastard sword and the claymore, so. I guess that's equally satisfying. I mean, cause what would you prefer to do? Chop a motherfucker head off in one swing or fucking split his ass straight down the middle in one swing? I guess it's fucking pick your pleasure in that regard. This axe is pretty damn handy too. A lot of these weapons, it all depends on, you know, the strength of your fucking swing and where you hit these motherfuckers, honestly. They are all pretty effective at the end of the day. It's all about your dumb ass. See that archer, he's a butt boy. You just run up on him, take him up off the game, he won't be no problem. But if you let him stay around a little bit and start dicking around with these other jabonis, that's when you become a hassle. <coughs> Out of here. Skeletons can be annoying, but I find if you uh bash them with that axe or preferably one of the maces. Can take that ass right on out the game pretty quick. Like some fragile motherfuckers. Obviously, that motherfucker's skeleton. <laughs> so you my body game. There you go. Just about done here. This might be our last round of fuck boys. Another thing, grabbing these apples and uh, bananas to re-energize yourself can be a tricky proposition, particularly on this map because you got those fucking uh, balls running around. So when you do a fucking force maneuver to to bring the fucking fruit towards you, you might pick up that bomb and uh, that shit go kapooey, nigga, and uh, you end up dicking yourself. Why don't you help yourself? So sometimes before the before the round start, I'll try to put the fruit in uh, in more convenient positions for myself to grab them during the bottle, but that shit don't always work out because these goofy ass niggas will kick that shit out of range and you end up on a fuck mission again so I guess the good thing is there's plenty of fruit to be had if you find yourself depleted and need some reserves 
Shit is getting dicey right about now there, bruh. I know I suck back in these days. All I needed was one good swing to this motherfucker here. You he was a toe. I dropped him. I did him. I joined him. <laughs> 